Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. I want to show you something really cool. This is probably one of the coolest things in my collection, and I have some really cool things in my collection. I mean, I have Stone Age caveman tools, I have uh, arrowheads from both North America and from Africa. I have a lot of cool things. This is probably the coolest. Do you remember Jurassic Park? Yeah, you know, remember the first Jurassic Park movie? Do you remember how they got the DNA to make those dinosaurs? That's right, it was bugs, in particular mosquitoes, trapped in amber, and the mosquitoes had the blood still in them. They took it, they extracted it, and bam, mixed it with toad or frog DNA. And then the dinosaurs got out and ate everybody, right? That's just how it is. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum almost gets eaten, so yeah, that's, that's Jurassic Park, right? So what we have here today is a piece of amber from the Dominican Republic, and inside of this are at least four bugs. It's easy to see two of them, and you really have to look close to see the other two, but these are bugs trapped in amber. Yeah, that's right. Very cool. And not only is it cool, we're looking at it under the microscope so we can really get a better view of what we have here. It appears that one of the bugs, the most intact, appears to be some type of bee. And then there is some type of mosquito-esque bug, or like a small mayfly, or, or something like that. But it is very mosquito-esque. Now granted, it is not all swelled up, you know, like they, the ones from Jurassic Park, or if you remember, was that Land of the Lost, that giant mosquito that that got Will Ferrell there? Yeah, so I mean, it's not that big. It's a tiny little bug, but it looks very mosquito-esque. So inside of these bugs, or that bug in particular, do we have the makings of our own Jurassic Park? Well, probably not, because that was fiction, and, you know, this is real life. But it's very cool. Now this particular piece of amber with these bugs is only about 22 to 28 million years old. It's not one of the older things we have in our collection, but it is very cool. So how do they determine that this bit of amber is 22 some odd million years old? Well, amber in this area is normally from a certain time span. Then they look at the fossil record, they look at the layers, and they can date it by what else is found in the area. Additionally, they'll say, okay, look at this bug here. This bug only lived from this time period. This time period, the amber was formed there. Bam, it has to be that old. So if you remember from Jurassic Park, if not, go look it up on YouTube or watch it. The bug lands on something. The tree sap oozes out of the tree, covers the bug, bam. And then millions of years later, we have this, and wait, sorry. And then millions of years later, there's dinosaurs running around a theme park eating people. Yeah, Jurassic Park, right? So yeah, this is very cool. And like I said, I have a lot of weird, weird cool things in my collection. This is, at least I, th I think, this is one of the cooler things that I have. I mean, I have some cloth that came off of old ancient Egyptian mummy. I have mummy cloth, that's right. We should look at that under the microscope and take a candor at that, right? All right, so have you ever seen a real piece of amber? Amber is fairly common. Amber with bugs or lizards or pieces of leaves or flowers or something, they're out there. They're not extremely common. If you're willing to you know, buy one, it won't set you back more than a couple hundred dollars if you can find one. you got to find it first. But people do collect them, people do sell them, and they are really cool. Now, are we at risk, if we cut this open, are we at risk of releasing some weird bacteria or virus from 20-some-odd million years ago? Well, probably not. And, and, you know, really, it's no more so that that would happen than going out and digging somewhere and knocking, cracking open a rock that has some weird virus from outer space in there and turn everybody into mutant zombies, right? All right, so what do you think? Amber, is it cool or not cool? But I don't mean amber. You know that chick, Amber? No, I don't mean that. I mean this. And not just amber, but this amber with really cool bugs in it. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Meister 22.
the most dangerous man on YouTube.